Shaja and Chio have definitely changed the Archer meta in Rise of Kingdoms. They are two brand new, fully different Archer commanders, and they've definitely impacted the best seven marches you can run on the open field, even the best two marches that you can run on the open field. So today, I'll be updating my Archer March Guide, telling you the best one marches, two marches, three marches, four marches, five marches, six marches, and even seven marches. So if you're interested in making an archer murderable, maybe just deciding which marches are going to be best for you, or you just want to know which archer marches you are going to be seeing the most, you want to stick around till the end of the video. Now, before I fully get into all the marches, I'm going to put a quick disclaimer. The top three to four marches, I pretty much can guarantee that these are correct. But once we start to get past that, you're going to notice the commander combinations become a bit weird. So past that point, it's really difficult to find any testing for this. And I'm kind of just going over my, my gut feeling about the commanders at that point and how they used to perform and how those marches could still perform. So past five marches, that's where we start to really see a bit of a weird shift in the commanders. So you, I can't really guarantee those are the absolute best marches. There might be some slightly better ones, but the first one to four marches, I can guarantee, or I'd put at least some like confidence in those being the best marches. And the first three, definitely, I would say, in my opinion, would be the three archer marches that I would end up running. So keep that in mind. Once we get past five marches, it's going to get a bit weird. But up until then, everything is pretty much, I want to say, at least 90 to even 100% accurate to the best that you're going to get. Now, starting off with our first march, it's quite simple. If you're looking towards the future and you want to make more archer marches, I think the best first march is just going to be dueling with Herman. If you're not looking towards the future, future potential of archers, and the reason is just because Zulang Herman is probably still the strongest march in terms of archers right now. It's the strongest. It's got double AOE, which is, of course, amazing. Herman has got one of the best poison debuffs in the game. He's loaded with stats. I mean, Herman has tons of stats, especially for an archer commander between his second and also third skill. He's got a decent-ish expertise. His fourth skill is decent. His active skill is amazing. And then Zulang is a commander that pretty much needs nothing else said. He's probably still the best archer commander in the game. There are another two options I can recommend recommend for your first Archer March. If you're really new to Season of Conquest and you've only got YSG, I essentially always say get Herman first. And the reason is, while Zulang with YSG is a nice march to run, it's a bit slow and it's very, very damage reliant and it's not tanky at all. Herman though is a good pair with YSG for the same reasons that he is good with Zulang. So if you're new to Season of Conquest, you've only got YSG, get Herman first, Maybe take Herman up to like 5551, five, then get Zulang into like a similar position, then expertise Zulang, and then you can work on your second march. So that would be a good first march. One last option for a first march is Shajar with Zulang secondary, and that can also work if you're looking for a very big future potential investment and you want to skip Herman, because as we can see, there are kind of less commanders nowadays who need that poison effect. So according to that, I would say Herman might not be the worst commander to skip, but it would also mean that you would have to use Shajar, who is going to be weaker right now. I do think she has a lot of future investment potential. That's why I put her in must invest, I'm just saying. So I think that she's not a bad choice for a first march. Would she be my number one option in terms of strength right now? No. Would she be my number one option in terms of possible future? I would say yes, you could definitely get away with her, but it is a bit riskier than going with just a classic Herman and Zulang or Zulang and Herman. So really, I'd recommend my top two marches Zulang Herman or Herman YSG as your first one march. Moving on to two marches though, that's where you're going to first use Shajar. And I have my list up here. Really, you want to run Zulang with Herman and you want to run, you want to run Chio with Sajar. I'm going to call Chio, by the way. I'm going to call him CY. So you want to run CY with Shajar secondary. People are saying that Shajar secondary won't be that good. The testing that I've seen, and again, it's a bit hard to find testing for this march, but what I've seen, Shajar does good as a secondary with Chio as a primary. So Shajar, Chio, that's sorry, Chio Shajar is going to be your really best second archer march. Now, I know he's really hard to access right now, so if you can't get access to CY, you can get away with a YSG. So if you have YSG, you can get away with him. If you have a Shobani pile, you can also get away with him and you can put them with Shajar, and they're going to be relatively similar. I mean, it's not going to be as strong as running CY, but it is still going to be a definite strong march. So if you want to run a Shabani Pal with Shajar, or you want to run YHG with Shajar, you can get away with those as your two marches. 
But if you have CY, maybe you're a Garrison main, maybe you won him in an MGE, maybe you stole an MGE, whatever it may be, I'd say that he's slightly better than those commanders. And if you don't already have YSG or a Shabani Pal expertise, you could expertise CY and put him with your Shajar. If you already have YSG or Shabani Pal expertise, don't worry, they're still going to be a very good march with Shajar. They'll work perfectly as a second march, and they are also a second option. And then, of course, we're still going to stick with the Zulang and Herman. That has not changed. Moving on to our third march, we're going to pull in Boudicca Prime at this point. She's good as a third march. I will also say she could be used in place of Shajar for that second march. So you could run Boudicca, Ashurbani Pal, or YSG instead of running Shajar with those two commanders. Obviously, don't run Boudicca with CY, it wouldn't make sense. But in terms of running Boudicca with a Shabani Pala YSG as a second march, it can be done. But in terms of a third march, this is where we're going to get a little bit more specific and you kind of have to have access to a few more commanders. First of all, you're going to want to run Boudicca with a Shabani Pal. It's just as simple as that. The reason I always like Boudicca Shabani Pal over Nebu Shabani Pal, A, you're bringing more single target damage in. I don't mind having the single target damage because at that point you're going to have two single target commanders and four AoE commanders. I think that's the right number or three AoE commanders. Whatever number it is, I'm pretty sure it's four. Boudicca is going to be a nice amount of single target damage you're bringing in from your archers. Not to mention, even though I said skill damage debuffs aren't the most amazing nowadays, Boudicca's is really good because it's good with a Shabani Pal. Shabani Pal is an AoE plus single target commander. He's got that 1000 damage to the enemy he's directly targeting, and he works very good with Boudicca. I really like the combination. I think Boudicca has a little bit more potential than Nebu for the future. Nebu is definitely, in my opinion, too squishy now to just run and not mess up. If you mess up at all with him, that's it. You take a massive L, it's not going to be a good trade. And that's why I just prefer the Boudicca or Shabani Pal. Then you're going to run, obviously, Shajar with, if you had a Shabani Pal with her before, now for a third march, you really are looking at getting CY. I think you want to try and get him by the time you work towards a third archer march, unless you're already working towards it while I'm recording this, you're definitely going to be able to access CY. He'll be a bit more outdated. You can maybe get yourself into a fixed Mightiest Governor or steal one. Don't say, don't tell anyone I said that, but you could steal one or you could just win one by fighting in your KVK. So CY with Shajar, I'd really, really say you want to get it by now because it's going to be powerful. Or if you haven't started making your archer marches by the time you get your marches to around three for archers you'll definitely be seeing new commanders coming so keep an eye out for that if you're obviously working on the march now for your third march if you don't have ysg get cy if you have ysg you can still get away with shajar ysg it's going to be just as strong obviously but I do think at this point, it's going to be worth getting CY, especially if you don't have YSG or if you were using a Shabani Pal before because he's going to be locked up with your Boudicca. I do think this ball is probably where most players should stop as well, purely because when it comes down to it, you wouldn't want to run more than three marches of any troop type. Most people should run one to two marches. I personally recommend for archers, you're looking at two. Once we get to that third march already, you can see Boudicca, Shabani Pal. I personally still run it. It's still in my ball. But it's not going to be the strongest in the game by any means. It's definitely not my strongest march right now. It's definitely not the weakest march I've used. I've used Nebu Cyrus before. That is definitely a weak march. But Boudicca with Ashur, it's still good. It's still very strong. I just don't think it's going to be better than something like the best infantry march which is something like a William Wallace with a Leo Chair, or even better than the best current Cavalry March, which would be Nevsky with Joan Prime. And especially, it most likely won't be better than the future Cavalry Commanders. So I don't think you should go past three Archer Marches. Really, I recommend stopping at two if you want to, and you're not a real big Archer main. Three you can get away with. I do use three. That's where I'm stopping. You'll notice I only have three sets of equipment, and it is by design. I'm not making any more equipment. I'm not making any more Archer Marches. Because once we move into the 4th, 5th, 6th, and even 7th Archer Marchers, we're looking at a lot more weaker commanders, more outdated commanders, and a lot of weird, wacky combinations where you either have to backwards invest, or you have to already have these super old commanders, and it just doesn't really work out as good. So it's best to stop, in my opinion, at these 3 Marchers, or even at those 2 Marchers. Just as a quick recap, Shajar with CY is your first March for this. You're going to be still running Zulang and Herman. That pair is not going to change at all. And then you're going to run Boudicca with a Shawani Pal. Alternatively, you can use Shajar with YSG if you do not have access to Chia Jung. Moving on to four marches. This is where we're going to have to really, if you don't have CY at this point, you do need him. I mean, at four marches, if you don't have CY, go get him. I mean, it's the only option at this point. 
because you're going to be running Shajar with CY. You don't have another choice because your fourth march, your new fourth march, is going to be a Henry with a YSG. I've run this march a lot previous to the release of Shajar, and it's a good march. Shajar YSG is obviously just stronger. Buduka Shomanipal and Zulang Herman are also stronger, and Shajar with CY is much stronger than Henry with YSG. I did notice this march started to become a lot less tanky, which was Henry's main thing, and it also kind of lacked in damage in some situations. Sometimes he'd drop like three active skills into somebody, and it would pretty much just tickle them. Yeah, you'd get a positive trade, but it wouldn't be amazing. And then Buduka with a Shomanipal or Zulang with Herman would drop three active skills, and you've pretty much just destroyed their march, and you've gotten a ridiculous trade. So this march, it can often eat up Sev Wounds for no reason. It can often be underwhelming in terms of its tankiness because it's a weird type of Archer March. Archers are not meant to be this tanky, so it kind of does get screwed over. Now, that being said, I do think it's still a good March. It's a mix between tankiness and AoE, especially, which is, is a thing you love with YSG. You want to give him some tankiness, and it is still an okay runnable March right now. If you're watching this when the new calves have been shown, if they're good, I think this March will definitely lose a lot of value. Like, this is still usable at the moment in terms of an okay March, but we've just seen Shajar released into the game, and there isn't really any cavalry that can challenge the archers. So, right now, it's a usable March, but it wouldn't be my go-to pretty much at any time. But for your fourth March, you'll have to run Henry with YSG, or you could use Nebu, but you don't really have another option between those two commanders. That means for your fourth or your four marches, you're going to run a Zulang with a Herman, a Buduka with an Ashurbanipal, a Henry with a YSG or a Nebu, and then a Shajar with a Chio Yung. Now, moving on to five marches, we're going to do a little bit of juggling here. We're going to have to bring in a commander who, personally, I would say is a horrible investment nowadays because we're looking at five marches. At this point, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel for archers. There are only a few commanders left, and in terms of good ones, there's pretty much none left. So here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to use Buduka with Artemisia. That's our first change. We're gonna take a Shabani pile off Buduka, and you're gonna have to have Artemisia. Now, Artemisia is horrible in the current meta, in my opinion. Not strong enough. Her AoE is too weak. Her self debuffs are not very good. And I would say that she has pretty much got zero future potential unless she gets a ridiculous relic, and you don't really want to bank on that. So Artemisia, I would say not a very good pickup right now, in case I didn't make that fully clear. So I would say Artemisia with Boudicca, I wouldn't want to do it, but if you're looking at five marches, you have no other choice. So Boudicca Artemisia is where you're going to have to run, and you're going to take a quick regrind to, I want to say that's about 2022. So Boudicca Artemisia is a bearable march. It's not going to be good. Your trades with it aren't going to be that amazing, but it is pretty much your only option. And then you're going to run a Shabani Pile with a Nebuchadnezzar. Again, I don't fully love this march. It's a good march. It used to be in the top three for archers, but at the moment, I would say it's not the most groundbreaking at all, especially considering there are just better top three marches. So you'll swap out that Ashurbani Pile off your Boudicca. It's going to mean you lose that Boudicca Ashurbani Pile synergy, and you're going to run Ashurbani Pile with Nebu. You're going to double AoE out of it, but I don't know if that's fully worth it. And then you're going to run Boudicca with Artemisia. Now, that is going to be a very average march. I think Ashurbani Pile Nebu is going to be an average march, especially once we see new calves who can really, really hurt Nebu. Ashurbani Pile, I mean, he's not losing meta value, but Nebu is going to get hit hard. So for five marches, you're going to have to do that juggling. You're going to have to make those sacrifices because there just aren't enough really overpowered commanders available. That means, though, for your five marches, you're going to run a Zulang with a Herman, a Boudicca, with an Artemisia, and a Shivani Pile with a Nebuchadnezzar, a Henry with a YSG, and then a Shajar with a CY. Now, in terms of six marches, we are really, really getting to the point where there is pretty much no commanders left, and there's only like a couple. You've got, I could probably list them all right now. You've got Cyrus, you've got Gilgamesh, you've got El Cid, you've got Ramses, you've got Amanatore, you've got Tamiris, Edward, and then you've got Ditto and Thutmose. They're all pretty much rubbish. They're all probably bottom of the barrel commanders I'd never really run. The strongest left would be like Gilgamesh, Cyrus, maybe Ramses and Amanatore, but Amanatore, you can't run her because Boudicca and Artemisia are locked up. So it's kind of a weird situation there. Amanatore kind of gets discarded. And even then, she's not, she's not that good. It's not like she's going to be game-breaking if you could use her. In terms of that sixth march, I think you just go Cyrus with Ramses. It's a rubbish march, don't get me wrong, but you don't really have an option now. You could run like Gilgamesh with Cyrus or something like that as well, or Cyrus Gilgamesh. 
But again, I think I like Gilgamesh Primary more. But again, I don't really think it's going to be that amazing. It could be a debuffing march. You can get away with it. But then again, just go get CPO Prime and you get Gilgamesh's debuffs, but better. And there's Ragnar Prime coming, who obviously we don't have results for, but he looks like he's going to be good with CPO Africanus. So you could just get one of those two commanders or two marches instead. So Gilgamesh, really, really poor option nowadays. Same thing with Cyrus. He's not that amazing nowadays. And that's coming from someone who really does like Cyrus. And then you've also got Ramses. So I think Cyrus Ramses is your best option because you're going to get some okay damage out of it, but it's not going to be good by any means. So if you're looking at six Archer Marchers, you're just, I don't know, you're smoking something. You must be going crazy. It wouldn't be my go-to by any means, but if you want to run it, it would be a Cyrus with a Ramses for your sixth March. And then moving on to seven Marchers. At this point, you're really just going absolutely crazy to be running seven marches of archers. I think the best option at that point, you just get Gilgamesh with Tamiris. There's really no other option. I couldn't see any way around this march. You could maybe do something crazy like take Boudicca and put her with Cyrus, and then you do Ramses with, I don't know, someone like Gilgamesh, and then you can do a monetary Artemisia if you have that combination. But then again, that's a really, really weird situation. I think it's better to put Boudicca Prime with Artemisia. They have a bit of synergy. They're a known pairing. And then you can stick with that Cyrus and the Ramses. And then you just have a seventh march. That's rubbish. Gilgamesh with Tamiris. Gilgamesh with El Cid. Thutmos. Edward with a Relic, I guess. Maybe Gilgamesh with someone like Honda or Mehmed. That would have to be your seventh march. And it's just not going to be that good. And it's just going to pretty much eat seven wounds for no reason. But if you wanted seven archer marches... That would be your seventh march, but I highly, 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 and this is coming from a pure archer account. I've never used anything besides archer commanders. Highly recommend just not going that far in. It's not going to benefit you that much, but I will give the option and I will give the best pairing for the people who do decide to do that if there are any. So if you want seven archer marches, Gilgamesh with Tamiris is probably going to be your better, better, best option at least, or at least a Gilgamesh with someone like even just... El Cid, like just something that does some amount of damage would probably be your better option. So now as a full recap, in terms of your best seven archer marches, which is ridiculous to think, we're going to be looking at a Zulang with a Herman Prime, a Shajar or a CY primary with a Shajar secondary, a Boudicca with an Artemisia, a Henry with a YSG, a Nebu with an Ashurbani Pal, a Ramses with a Cyrus the Great, and finally you're looking at a Gilgamesh with any of the commanders left. In my opinion, I'd recommend Tamiris, but keep in mind, it's still not going to be that strong. So that would be your best seven archer marches if that is what you chose to use. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, you found my archer guide valuable, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Subscribing to the channel really does just help me make archer content. And of course, if you're an archer main, there is almost no better channel to subscribe to since my whole focus is archer content. Whenever there's anything about archers, whether it be new equipment, new formations, new armaments, whatever it may be, I'm going to drop a video if I think that that system is important. So if you ever want to see archer content, my channel is the one. There is none like my channel, to be fully honest, for archers. So do consider subscribing. If you're an archer main, you just want to know the archer meta, or you even have one or two archer marches, I highly recommend it. It's completely free. And of course, I'm not going to force you to watch my video. So if you subscribe to me, there may just be a video that could get you some more value or even something that could help you get slightly better equipment or just some small change to your account that could be completely free to help improve your archer marches. So if you're interested in all that, subscribe to the channel. I always try to give the most up-to-date advice. And I just want to say I thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.